because if you multiply by i on the top and the bottom, remember you have to apply the straight of property. So therefore, by applying the straight of property, you get i plus i squared. Well, yeah, you don't have an i you don't have an i for this term anymore, but now you just created an i. So when you have a binomial of an irrational or a complex number, multiplying by i is not going to be enough. You have to multiply by what we call the conjugate. And the conjugate is going to be our exact same binomial, but now instead of having a positive, we'll have a negative. You're going to switch the side, you're going to switch the sign in front of your imaginary number, not for both of them. It's not going to be a negative 1 minus i. It's another very common mistake. You're just changing um, the sign of your imaginary unit. Or if it was irrational, you change the sign for the irrational unit. So therefore, I multiply by the conjugate, which is 1 minus i over 1 minus i. Then you have to do FOIL. Now, um, up top, I would probably recommend doing the box if you kind of get stuck or you're, you're messy. Now, on the bottom, you guys are going to do some practice on multiplying a number by its conjugate. But, hmm, does anybody know this product? What does this remind you of? It reminds you of a special factoring technique we use. Yes, J.D.? Yes, the difference of two squares. Remember, this is going to produce the first two terms squared minus the last two terms squared. So that's all I need to do to multiply this out, right? It's the same first terms, the same last terms, but alternating signs. So I don't even need to do the box method for the bottom. I already know this is 1 squared minus i squared. And I'll simplify it in a second. Over here, we have 3 times 1 is 3. 1 times i is negative i. 3 times negative i is 3 negative i. Negative, negative i times negative i is going to be a positive i squared. Sorry, I'm just trying to move out for any less. So therefore, rather than rewriting them out, I notice that those are both i's, and that is a negative 1. So I have 3 minus 4i plus negative 1. So therefore, it's going to be 2 minus 4i. So I write that up top. And then I know that i squared becomes a negative 1. 1 minus negative 1 is 2 minus 4i divided by 2. Yes? OK, but well, I'm not done. Guys, I'm not done. I don't know why you're trying to close the book. I'm not done. This is the most important part, right? Now, I said that complex numbers come in the form of? Oh, it's in your notes that, oh, you yeah. shut <laughs> my eye. So you remember it's C plus DI, or what was it? A, A plus DI. Now, could it be C plus DI? B. Right. Yeah. It's just B. It's so, does this look like that? No. No. Not really. We can multiply everything by 2, but yes? You can um, cross the 2 and 2 and 4 and 2 out and make it so it's 1 minus 2i. Right. You can say, well, this is your real, that's your imaginary. But both of these numbers are being divided by 2. So to write this in that form, let's just divide them through. So therefore, my final answer is 1 minus 2i. Okay? Because that 2 divides into both terms. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I really apologize. I thought.